So, as you can see, we're um, back in mine today. So this is my bed. So yeah, we're back in mine and we have got a January haul for you. A collective January haul. Because it's the end of January. Happy end of January. Woohoo! Woo it's over. It's been a month already. And now comes February, which is the bad month. Fe yeah, I don't, I'm not a fan of February. Ugh, it's not a good month. That's why it's so much shorter than all the rest, let's be honest. That's no one can thing. even stomach the last three days. Maybe so on. let's get on to the actual we things we have bought. Did because obviously January, January sales. We bought a lot, a lot of stuff. Well, I bought a lot of stuff. It's a lot for me. I mean, I don't have much money, <laughs> so it's quite a lot for me. And obviously, but Christmas money vouchers just buying some stuff. With yeah. That and sales and whatnot. So we just thought we'd show you. As I said in our Christmas haul, I've kind of been loving over the knee socks, even though people still consider it kind of a tarty look, but I quite like it, you know, wear it with um, yeah. a skirt tights and then you've got your socks over it, it's respectable. So I got a pair of black ones, just plain black from H&M in the sale, they were just like £2. And I also got a pair from Jack Wills, which I don't usually shop in Jack Wills, I used to, but my friend dragged me in. And they had this really nice pair of women's socks. They're like it's like burgundy and red stripes, and then the top of it has this n nice blue pattern, and then they've just got the blue Mr. Wills sign on them. And um, I really like them, and they're really long, so they're my shockies. Shockies. Well, I surprisingly have bought three pairs of shoes this month, which is pretty ridiculous for me. I don't buy many shoes. I buy. I spend quite a lot on shoes, but then I just wear the same ones like for like a year. But this um, month, I thought I'd buy three pairs of shoes, but they were all in the sale and they were all so cheap. Like I think the sales have actually been really good this year. Like I found the sales really good. I was really surprised when she told me the prices. Yeah. Like, oh so my god! Surprised. It's, it's pretty amazing. So my first pair of shoes are a pair of heels. Um, because come on, it's heels. Now they might seem a bit weird around the rim, but I'll explain that in a minute. But there's these lovely black boot, booted shoes with a big chunky heel and um, it's kind of like a snake skin effect it, or like crocodile, it's probably more crocodile um, from Topshop and then just have like the lace up and they're um, pointed if you can see. So um, yeah and they were £20 in the sale which was really good, I think it's really good for Topshop as well. Um, but originally, <laughs> originally this like the kind of like rim, you know the rubber bit around the, it's all the way around the shoe. It was white, like the sole, but I really didn't like that. So I thought I'd uh, colour it in with a black sharpie, which worked at the time. But then I went out that night with it and yeah, somehow it's all kind of rubbed off. So I might do it again or like try it with something a bit more permanent, even though it was permanent marker, but I'll try again because I just didn't really like the white around the rubber sole. Some people do, I guess. Some people would like that, but I thought I'd make it black. Um, so yeah, also I got another pair of shoes. I seem to only have one. No, there's the other one. <laughs> I only bought the one. I only one bought one. Um, in the Urban Outfitters sale, which are these babies. I love these. They're kind of like just like faux leather with the studs kind of at the back at the heel and then at the front and they're pointed as well and the lace ups. There's kind of a theme going on here. Um, and then they're like double soled and they were £10. I mean, come on. For Urban Outfitters as well, that's amazing. Because um, I don't wear I don't wear a lot of kind of studded things. I think it's like a bit over overworn. But I thought these were really cool. And for £10, can't complain. And then my third pair of shoes, best bargain ever, £12 in a like vintage shop on a Byers Road in Glasgow called Vintage Guru. I'd highly recommend it if you're in Glasgow or live in Glasgow or whatever. Um, £12 for a pair of blue, dark blue Converse's. And they look pretty much brand new. Look how white they are. And there's no like dirt or staining on them really um, and I just thought it was amazing because they were 15 and but then they had like a 20% sale so they went down to 12 so that was really good I thought especially because they look pretty much brand new and I'm sure they're like 40 or something like new can't think because the boot I know yeah. the booted ones are more expensive than just like the Probably kind of about 40. Ones. that's the kind of price of like vans and sneakers and such yeah so I thought that is the best bargain of the year um, I win the award
Topshop in the Topshop sale. You guys have seen this one in our Favourites of 2012 video because I'm pretty sure I bought it. Yeah, I bought it that day. I bought it that day. Um, <laughs> it's this big. It's like a fisherman jumper except it's a lot fluffier. Um, it gets it's woolen and it goes quite. It's gone quite bobbly, quite easily. But um, it's still very cosy. It's very loose fitting. Um, the sleeves are rolled up at the end. It's just navy and it has a nice zip detail down the left hand side can see that and yeah that's got that jumper that was possibly down to like I think it was down to a tenner and it was originally like 40 something but then I also I really just wanted a simple fisherman jumper because I love them and so I got this this now this one is actually filthy I've just not watched it so I could show you guys <laughs> um, it's just the simple black one it's the cropped one so it sits just above my waist and um, it's just simple black it's got the stitching pattern in it and this wasn't in the sale so this is a wee bit of a splash for me but I was buying other sale stuff so with the discount it wasn't as much and this was I think it was still like £30 though there my jumpers I got like a couple of trousers but I have just got them out the washing machine so they've just been washed I seem to have like washed every single thing that I've bought this year um, so they're soaking wet um, and are these kind of trackies that have just like the you know the pull string bit and then they're just long and then they kind of they're just narrower at the um, ankle and then you can kind of like roll them up because they're a little bit big at the bottom for me um, and then they have like a wee um, little whatever pattern that is as a pocket on the back it's kind of like crosses I guess and it kind of looks like mm. stitched crossing it looks like giant stitches kind of <laughs> and they're from um, ASOS and they were, I can't remember, they might have been about 18, I think, maybe 18 um, in the sale, so I got them and then I got, these are quite unusual for me I got a pair of, they're actually cord, like dark blue jeans but they're like cord, I don't know if you can really see that you don't really need to see it, but it's like, it is cord -ish and I have this thing against cord, like I just think <laughs> cord is, should stay in the 90s and just not leave the 90s but I just really like these and they were like a tenner and you I think it's just quite a subtle cord yeah it's like really subtle like it's really thin because you know how cord kind of has those stripes all the way down them it's like really really thin small cord so you can't really tell until somebody like really kind of fe like feels them because they feel quite like it for a tenner how can you complain so um, yeah they're the two trousers that I bought I'm going to move on to a piece now that I am in fact wearing um, it's this shirt it's from Love Clothing online it was £30 reduced to 10 and I've seen it and I've kind of lusted over it for a while and I like the white with the black tips and I saw this one it was a tenor it was like, oh my god that's so cool um, the sleeves are just kind of like rolled up and they're really baggy it is a bit more fitted across the chest and waist area than I would like but it's, it hangs nicely across my shoulders and it's by a brand called Fount I'm pretty sure you guys, most of you will have seen this shirt yeah um, um, and I also, in Topshop, I got a dress because I went through a phase, I think like everyone went through a phase maybe last year, the start of last year or two years ago where just Topshop dresses just got amazing and I, I just bought loads of them and I haven't bought a Topshop dress in at least two years. So um, I saw this one in the sale and um, it's very kind of, I don't know what era it is, I want to say maybe 60s. Um, tight fitted waist it's quite tight across the shoulders and under the arms here and it's just got the little collar um, it's got this lovely pattern on it and the kind of reverse of the pattern on the skirt the skirt is just pleated well it's not skirt it's the bottom part of the dress is just pleated and it's just got a zip running down the back and that was 18 pounds oh I've still got the label on it it was originally £38 down to I paid £18 for it because you get a student discount. I thought it was something that like Alexa Chung would wear. I thought it was her kind of thing because you know she likes Peter Pan collars and navy and all that kind of thing. So it reminds me of Alexa it's very, Chung. It's very sophisticated looking I think which is why I bought it because I want to kind of get into that whole thing. And at the very start of this year on my way back from a holiday I stopped in at the House of Brewer which is like a kind of... Oh, 
I don't even know what you could really say it is. It's like, it's like a, a big country house that's been made into it. It's like got a big cafeteria area and oh my goodness. If you ever come across it and go, you need to get the macaroni cheese and chips. It is phenomenal. Um, they also have like a big jelly belly counter and jelly oh. bellies are my all time favourite so sweet. Good. And it's like a big pick and mix one so you can pick the flavours that you like. And it, oh, life is just perfect. It's a house of brew. But, um, it's very Scottish and they sell like... The clothes country they sell, wear. yeah, country wear and so like tartans, hunter and barber and all that kind of near, stuff. Near, um, kind of near like Aviemore. Yeah, it's on the way to Aviemore. It's on. It's like oh, it's on the A nine to Aviemore. Heading um, up north. So yeah, but they were selling um, tartan scarves on sale. So and you know how tartan's quite in at the moment, and being Scottish and all, I thought I'd get myself one, and it's kind of kind of green with kind of red and white stripes going through it, white things to make it to make the tartan. Um and I think that was about ten pounds but it's quite nice, it's like proper sheep's wool. So it's quite good um quality. So yeah, I've always wanted a tartan scarf, so yeah. I was really wanting a beanie, like a proper I want to say designer beanie but not really designer beanie but um the ones Cult like I have beanie. a yes. I have a few from Topshop and such places but they never really sit right on my head so I ordered this one from a brand called Brixton. Um, this one, I, th I really like the colour when I was looking on the website but there's only, I could only find one actual website that stocked Brixton that had this colour so I ordered this and it did take a while to come but um, I really like it. It's just like, it's it says the charcoal and heather grey beanie and it has a little label on the front which says Brixton MFD CO Brixton MFD Co and such it's just got a little bubble on the top and um, Annie is actually going to try this on for you because okay, as I'll you can see my hair is up so. <laughs> um, let's see just so you can see how it looks it probably suits beanies more than me to be honest do, 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 do. So, so there you yeah. go I'll just chill with this on for the rest mm. of the do so you can kind of yeah. get the feel of it. <laughs> um, and my last item of clothing is something extremely boring <laughs> but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, it is and it's also very wet and crinkled so it's going to look really attractive. Um, mm. It's just a plain black t-shirt quite loose um, with the kind of rolled up sleeves from H&M and they have a load they have loads of these in like different colours just kind of from the basic section and I really wanted one because I have um, leather kind of burgundy trousers so they're quite hard to like you can't really wear like a bold colour on top or anything patterned because they're quite bold themselves so I just wanted like a quite nice kind of loose black top to go with them just so they would kind of you know complement the trousers so yeah I think that was only like seven eight pounds I think from H&M so yeah and um, moving on now I went a wee bit kind of ring crazy in January <laughs> so I ordered quite quite a few in January um, I'm just gonna move start my off with actually this one as a matter of fact is one from H&M as I later found out um, oh, I'm trying to get to focus it's just got a big black plasticky stone in it and um gold detailing around it in a kind of leafy pattern. It doesn't actually mark my fingers. This I found in my bag. <laughs> I do not know where it has come from and I did not buy it. So I just thought I'd keep it. I also got, many of you will know, the YSL Artie ring. Now no I did not get the Artie ring. I ordered a copy of it from a website by someone called Dolly Bobo. That's B O W B O W. Now I believe she is a YouTuber as well, I think, and um, it's quite a good copy. I'll show you like this. Um, it's got just a kind of plasticky stone with. I got it in a pink with the kind of like marking on it, and um, just gold around it with some intricate detailing at the bottom, and um, that sits quite nicely on. It's quite tight, so I can only wear it on my middle finger. But um, yeah, I like the way it sits. I like the way it looks happy with that. Um, I also ordered a few from an online website called Regal Rose which I really like. Um, the first one I got was this. It's just a little above knuckle ring with the feather. Now they only had, they don't actually have these in stock anymore. There's a feather, a skull and a cross and I ordered the feather one. Um, 
they don't have them in stock anymore and the only one they had in stock was the tip ring and um, I think this is the tip ring but it fits uh, all of my above knuckles and it actually fits on my pinky like a pinky ring and um, I really like that and I also got this other one just a kind of brass cross ring with a little plasticky stone in it which is really nice and um, it's adjustable behind the cross so you can tighten it and loosen it so again I can wear it above my knuckle or loosen it off which is really good and um, finally in Topshop I bought I, I showed this in my necklace collection as a matter of fact just Topshop's air necklace the triangle with the line across it you guys have seen it you know the drill um, the air necklace yeah so that's the jewellery that I bought most of these were on sale I don't I didn't spend I don't think no I spent like six pounds maybe on average on them all hmm. so um, and I bought the only jewellery I really bought was a couple of pair of hoops I'm really into hoops at the moment that's like all I wear um, including ones I'm wearing which I'll have to come up to show you so excuse my very large face um, which are just these kind of they're like flowers around it with leaves and they're um, silver I thought were really cool and they don't go all the way around so it's like you know a big gap at the back um, and they're from Miss Selfridge and then I also got a pair of just plain gold hoops from Miss Selfridge as well which you can kind of guess what they look like and I'm sure I've worn them in a video before so yeah and that's all the jewellery I bought so. um, finally I got a, Deb a £25 Debenhams voucher for my Christmas and it's Debenhams and Mac because I think some Debenhams vouchers don't include Mac but um, when I changed foundation I still had my powder highlighter and I felt that when I was rubbing it on it was just rubbing off the foundation which came under it so I really wanted a cream highlighter so with my Debenhams voucher I went to the Illamasqua counter and I purchased Gleam um, I really like this I think the thing is you do need a fair bit for it to show up it is a gleam the thing is it comes off kind of like in bits and it's begun to take a really weird texture yeah it's begun to take quite a weird texture as I've been rubbing it and you do need a cons well I feel I need a considerable amount on but then after a while when it blends in it just kind of works and um, this was 18 pounds so obviously not on the sale it is very expensive and if I didn't have a voucher, I don't think I would have bought it. But yeah, I'm quite I'm quite happy with this. So if you're looking for a cream highlighter, that is good. But again, I'm pretty sure you could find one cheaper. Uh, I also have a MAC voucher, but I haven't used it. So hopefully you will see some MAC products mm -hmm. in a video soon. Because who doesn't like a MAC product? Especially um, their lipsticks. So I love yeah. them. Rush and red. Oh yeah. Um, bear. So that was our... January haul, mostly sales haul I would say. Yeah, yeah. sales haul. Yeah. All our purchases of January 2013. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Hope you liked it. If you do, comment, like, subscribe even. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you have any questions, let us know. Um, and yeah, so see you soon. <laughs> Bye! Again, I bit my tongue. Again, I bit my tongue. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my god. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 I was worried about your comrade. Oh. Oh. Uh, I think he's. Just we don't do stuff like that here. <laughs> Boris Johnson, though, because he's I just the love man. Love Boris Johnson. <laughs> They're like glue me with The the best bit the best thing was on he was on some American um like uh, chat show and they went oh so what's the likelihood that you'll become prime minister or something like that he's like I'm more likely to be reincarnated as an olive <laughs> hey guys we're back again <laughs> what no I don't know what, what? no I'm gonna get it to be <laughs> <laughs> you're never gonna be mm, no. sorry rage averted <laughs> rage and mine's not look so hideous. <laughs> Because my resolution is to be beautiful. <laughs> Far fine. <laughs> what kind of creature is that? <laughs> you put the socks on before the shoes, don't you? Yeah.
So you will do <laughs> the socks. <laughs> so I've. <laughs> Myself, it's um, not good. I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs>